people fall out of love. They no longer have the energy to make things work. They are tired. He broke up with you not because you are a bad woman. He wakes up one morning and tell you, I don't want us together again. And you will go crying. What did I do? Why don't you want me again? Did I cheat on you? Did I do this? Listen, he will tell you, oh, you cheated on me. That is the reason why I want us to break up. Oh, you did this. That is the reason why you spoke to me badly the last time. That is the reason why I want us to break up. He will say all these things. So you will go judging yourself. For no reason, because he is tired. He wants to move on. He will give you all this package full of lies. So you will go crying, judging yourself, speaking ill of yourself, telling the whole world that it's your fault that you both are breaking up while he moves on with his life. Don't be carried away. In today's video, guys, we'll be talking about three ways you can rebrand yourself, repackage yourself, both mentally, physically, emotionally, and financially after breakup. And before we get into the video, consider subscribing to my channel, like this video if you enjoy watching it, and leave your comment down below. Let's hop right into it. The first step to rebranding yourself after breakup is to move on first. First of all, you need to pick yourself up. You need to clean up yourself and move on completely. Find things that distract you from this man don't sit around waiting for this man to come and apologize to you for dumping you don't go crying over a man who dumped you for another woman stop crying over a man who left you for his own happiness don't sit around wasting your time i know sometimes after breakup we go crying not because we miss that man or because of the other woman he is going to meet after the breakup but because of the years we have wasted with this man. But in one of my videos here, I told you guys that not all relationship is going to last forever. The fact that he dated you for 17 good years does not mean he must end up with you. The fact that he dated you for 10 years does not mean he must end up marrying you. You need to know this. You need to understand this. That is why it's important when you are in a relationship, investing in a man, make sure that you are investing in yourself so that when he leaves, you have nothing to lose. What is more important right now is the person you can still become after that relationship. Don't you know that some people, after breakup, they go useless. They become nothing. Yes. They will be broken into pieces that they can't even pick up their selves again. But you are here with your phone watching this video. That means you are a strong woman. You need to focus on the person that you can still become. You need to focus on that woman you promised yourself to become in the future. Not about the years that you have wasted. Move on. Clean up yourself. Let this man be. You don't know the power you have within you. When a man dumped you, he dumped you for a reason. So why are you crying over a spilled milk? Don't be one of those people who start doing all sorts of things after breakup. You started smoking after breakup, not that you used to smoke before. You started drinking alcohol, partying all night, doing all sorts of things after breakup. You're not doing this, dude. You are destroying yourself indirectly. He don't care. He has moved on. It's now left for you to pick up your pieces, to pick up yourself and move on as well. If you have to go back to school, go back to school. Start up that business. Go and get a job. Go and do something with your life. Take your time. That's all. The second step is to set boundaries and set your standards high. Do not allow whatever that has happened in your previous or your past relationship to repeat itself in your future relationship. If you ever settled for less in your past relationship, don't allow it happen again in your future relationship. You see, that's why it's really important to value your single days. Yes, it's important. Honestly, it's really okay 
to enjoy your single days. Don't see your single days as your bad days. Don't see your single days as, as your ugly moment or whatever. No. Your single days will help you reshape your life. That is when you have the time to understand the power you carry in you as a woman. Yes. When you are single, you are single for six months, single for five months, it's not bad. Even one year is not bad. Your single days give you this opportunity to rebrand yourself, to understand who you are. You're single for two months, you're single for one year, and you're all over the place, even asking your friends to connect you, that you want to be connected, you want to do this, you want to go everywhere in order to meet men. And after you meet those men, two months later, you are talking about breakup in this relationship. Why? Because you didn't take out your time during your single days to understand yourself. Use that time to understand who you are. Understand the type of people you truly deserve. When you are single, you will even realize that some of these guys that are dumping you, they are not worth your time. I promise you, when you take your time to sit in your room for six months, building yourself, investing in yourself, you will realize that some of these people, you even respond to their DMs and not what being in your life. Stop seeing your single days as your bad days. Use that as a big opportunity. Use it to your own benefit. Use it to figure out the type of man you want next into your life. Another reason why I keep talking about setting your standard high and setting boundaries when it comes to dating is because not every man who comes into your life wants something serious. So I will promise you, I will marry you, I will do this within one month. Some of these men are players. Not all, but some are players. Don't give away your energy to people who just want to use you people who will use you for three months and dump you. You need to be very observant. You need to really look out for this thing. You need to care for yourself. This is about you, right? This is about your emotion. This is about your energy. Reserve your energy for the right man. Reserve your energy for the right person. Stop wasting your time with these people. Don't get too attached to this man within the first three months of dating. Don't get too attached to any man seriously do not so that when he dump you you will not find it very difficult to move on you will be able to pick yourself up and move on immediately without stress stop getting too attached don't be quick to give your body to this man when starting off a relationship because it's through giving your body you get to connected to these people and you feel you already own them and you feel you guys already have something exchanged that means they are your property or maybe they are your trophy already you've won them mm -mm. set boundaries be convinced before you give out whatever that is important your body is very precious and important to you you have to be convinced before you give it to this man Set your standard high. Don't allow whatever that's happened in your past to repeat itself in the future, okay? The third thing to do after this dude dump you, which is actually my favorite on this topic, is to change your identity. Holy shit. How do you want men to see you this time around? How do you want people to address you as? Seriously, everything is in your hands right now. I don't know why I'm smiling so hard because I know this is what I love to do. Once I'm done breaking up, once I'm done with you, bro, I'm rebranding myself to this top chick. Even you would not have the gut, you would not have the mind to actually approach me three months after that breakup. Change how you want people to address you. You can even change your nickname after this breakup. Come on, you need to rebrand yourself. You need to repackage, you know? Some people used to say this funny thing, like, if you see me finish, I'll repackage myself. You can't see me finish. Yes, that is something you really need to hold on to. When a guy break up with you, give yourself some time, stay indoor, rebrand yourself.
that in three months time when he see you with your new boyfriend or even you alone he will not have this the the, the mind to approach you am i speaking to someone come on you understand what i'm saying like you need to change your identity very important don't be that person that you wear three months they go you've cried it was painful it was hurt i understand clean up yourself and change everything you need to ask yourself who do you want this man to say you are when they come into your life a cry cry baby or a powerful woman who do you want them to see who do you want them to say that you are rebrand repackage yourself that it will be very difficult for people in your past to recognize you. You need to spice up your life. You need to be mindful of those who come in and out of your life. You need to be very, very selective this time around. Start off that business you told yourself you want to start off before. Go get that job you wanted to get before that relationship. Start off that affiliate marketing. Go learn that new skill. I promise you, when you set your standard high, move on with your life, change your identity, to be honest with you, this man will be the one praying to rehab you, rehab you in your life. And listen, if he ever come back to you after you have rebranded yourself to get you, sis, do not go back to this man. I'm telling you, a man who dumped you for a woman who will still dump you for another woman. You are too special for someone to treat you like a trash. I want to come back to pick you after you've left the bin by yourself. Think about it. If you have to change your number, change it. Change everything about your life. Become a brand new baby girl. Become a brand new person. Stop dwelling too much in what has happened. Learn from your past and move on. Experience is always the best teacher. And do not repeat that same mistake. Okay? Go and become better. After watching this video, go and become better to attract a better man who will treat you like a princess. I don't want this video to be too long. I just want you to know that I care about you and I'm always here for you girls. Just make sure you pick up yourself, learn from your mistakes, learn from what Pearl is teaching you, move on with your life, go and become better in order to attract better. I love you so much. Consider subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you all for all the support and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.